Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to Portal 2. It's a blind playthrough of Portal 2, and I am very excited to continue our story here. This is Chapter 6, The Fall. Uh, at the start of this chapter, in the last episode, we uh, fell down a very long, almost endless shaft with a potato clock GLaDOS uh, telling us uh, what we'd just done, which is take uh, the intelligence dampen dampening spear of, of Wheatley and put it in charge of the entire factory. Uh, the idiot, the moron that was made, that was meant to make GLaDOS an idiot, is in charge. I've done a little bit, uh, I've had a little bit of time between the two recordings, this last episode and this one. I did a little bit of research into uh, what exactly was happening during that, uh, that, that conversation, that dialogue. Uh, Wheatley at one point said, I'm a ge I, uh, said, I, I feel so powerful. I'm a genius now. And then said this in Spanish, you are using this translation software incorrectly. Please refer to the manual. I love it. Ah, oh, the, the, the Wheatley writing continues to, uh, I mean, all the writing is great. So, Hey, we're going to continue with some portal, uh, and see where this chapter takes us. Uh, at the very end of the last episode, a bird came down and grabbed GLaDOS and I think flew off that way potentially uh, with her. So we're going to see if we can find GLaDOS. Maybe. I don't, I mean, I don't know that we need GLaDOS. I have been thinking a little bit though. I think the way that it makes the most sense for us to move forward in the story. I'm really cautious to even say this because I don't know that the the game will go this direction but if i had to guess the thing i would do if i the, the lesser writer in the room right now <laughs> between the writers of portal and me the lesser thing that i would do is maybe have us befriend glados and the way that we would befriend glados is by saving her and or giving her something to uh giving her another side of the story like maybe our tenacity which has been glados's downfall might be glados's uh saving here i don't know that we need glados to move forward maybe glados is dead maybe glados got eaten by that bird and that's the end and we'll never see her again on the other hand i don't know if it were me uh i think it would be really satisfying to have a relationship with glados that comes full not full circle but into a depth it's never been to before anyways we're gonna play the game and see what they did uh rather than what i thought they maybe should do or might do uh all right, we're gonna take it nice and slow. And look around. All kinds of, I can get there, interesting. Okay. Ah, that's probably where I go, right through there. Uh, very quickly. Just exploring the, the corners of this, of this very ruined, very echoey, boomy factory. Okay, and through that. The other thing that's very interesting about this section God, the game is giving me lots to talk about right now. Uh, very quiet. We've had somebody talking to us so much of this game so far. And now, hypothetically, uh, our friend Wheatley is off busy running the factory and enjoying his power. And GLaDOS is being eaten by a bird. And it feels very spooky in that way. Okay. Um, the other thing is that we don't even so far, oh Lord, don't even so far get some like writing. There is music though. Oh, that music is nice. Uh, very faint. We don't even get writing from, from Doug. Right now. Are those? Are those? No? Okay. Hypothetically, I could jump and follow wherever this goes. This is like pointing me this direction. No way it's going to go that far. I mean, I think they have to have us jump here because... No other way to move forward. All right. Uh, 
There's this like little tinkling sound as part of the music. Oh man. There it was, right there. Just a second after I set it. Can we go this way at all? Can I run off this? Yeah, this seems to be an edge of the world kind of thing. One of the things I was thinking about this game and the like environment of it is how little it feels like a level sometimes. Like there's, it's a weird feeling, right? Because, oh Lord, that's dark. Cause there's definitely some like, when you're inside of the portal thing, your test facility. Oh, there's a beat in the background. Uh, you're inside of levels, right? Like things that are levels that are labeled as levels. They have 18 out of 22, whatever. And then you go to the ones that are not quite so much levels like this. It is a level because we have to beat it to, con to go to the next chapter. We have to find a progress through it to get to the next chapter. And uh, some games you play and it's like all the rubble is shaped super, you know, like <laughs> uniformly. Oh, this just makes me think of the GLaDOS door. GLaDOS Containment Center and Cake Place or whatever. Enrichment shaft may contain unsafe quantities of cosmic ray spallation elements. I have no idea what spallation is. Spallation? Spallation. Anyway, some, some levels feel here are the four walls keeping you inside of it. This does that during some levels, the testing facility levels. And then you've got stuff that is just like very... This, we're being directed through this big open area, but it doesn't feel like we're being directed through it, right? It's just a couple lights. It's uh, none of this can go through. Interesting. Aha, so that was something earlier. Okay. It's a couple lights that you know what to follow. And otherwise you feel like you're really exploring. Okay, so we're up top. More lights there, aha, uh -huh. there. Gotta be. Okay. Ah, this building is huge. Arteros 09. The other thing is that uh, we've spent so much of the game. I'm just gonna keep talking now, <laughs> and I'm sorry, but I'm getting a chance to nerd out finally. Uh, one of the things that can be hard for me with Portal is, uh, that's blue, is that you spend so much time uh, listening to others. This is where you'd insert a joke about how Ryan finds it hard to listen. Keep out, do not enter. Did it just zoom for me? There's double lights and it says keep out, do not enter. That's where we're going, 100%. I think the game zoomed for me. We're gonna check this way out first though. Um, You spend so much of the game listening to others that it's a, uh, like to me it feels very, that's where we came from. Oh, interesting. Technically we could go back. I don't I didn't know that we want to, but this is the door. Aha, okay. These are the doors that were locked off, great. Now when you have some silence and a, like a uh, chance to go at your own pace. Okay, interesting. Keep out, do not enter. Oh. I'm nervous. Very nervous. Banging, clanging metal. Oh, the atmosphere is. Boom, boom. So good. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We have a observation room and a E to pull lever, okay. Sure, 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 yep. What does the lever do? Opens the door and, oh. And sparks. Okay, millions of things there. Lots of space, lots of space to jump back and forth. <clears throat> Is 
says two, that says one. I think there's where we'd want to put it, but let's look around a little bit. Abandoned, sorry, abandoned mint hatch, test shaft nine, Zulu Bunsen. Do not enter sealed in 19, 615, 1961. Okay, what? Lore from 1961? I don't want to see what this says. Say anything? That's something pasted over. Sucks because I'm interested in what it says. So that's that's like real world reference there. In the event of flooding, seek air pockets. Does that sound like water? Kinda. And it opens from the top. Seek air pockets. Uh, air pocket over there? No, oh, I'm scared. Those are countdowns, but they're at zero. 100% that's countdowns. Hatch reclusion overhead. I will do that, but first, give me a fucking chance to figure out what it means about air pockets. I have to hit both. Okay. Peak air pockets. I don't know that this would be an air pocket. If water's coming up slowly, I don't think so. Where's an air pocket? How high up can you go with the portals up that high? Okay. Here's the other question. Can I, I can, it looks like I can maybe get on top of that thing like that. I can get on top of it. Okay. What does that do? Okay. I think we're just going to have to do it. Here goes nothing. Three, two, one. Okay, so it is a countdown. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, this is so fucking cool. What's in it, though? What's in it, though? Ring. Okay. That still has water. It's those that have water in it. Okay. <clears throat> I love the left turn that we've taken here. Now we're now we're rather than focus focusing on GLaDOS or Wheatley. I almost said Wally. Wally. Uh rather than focus on them, we are just exploring this thing for lore. <laughs> Ooh, all right. So, cosmic ray spallation, 1961. Radioactivity and 1961? Ah, uh, like I'm not very good at history, but like maybe nukes. Pretty bad, pretty I mean, we had nukes by then, but like why would we be sealing something off in 1961. I think of like missile testing facility, but that's, you know, 20 years late. Oh, aperture science. Things are falling apart. Oh, things are falling apart. Are way up there? No? Okay. There is something there though. Uh-huh, so I can go up there. Underground train to Tef Shaft, Tef Shaft's one through eight. Okay. Let's keep that orange one there. We can go up in the future. The other thing I'm thinking is like 61. We weren't at the moon yet. It was 68 and nine, right? All of the, all of the, this is 52. Okay, so we're going back in time. We being humans. 
There's just a hole there. Oh, the strings. The music. Things falling off. Oops, shit. Um, and then an enormous... A D20? Uh, an enormous staircase to a large sphere. Okay, can't go up there. Contamination area, and it's fully got a hole in it. Ooh, I can go through! I will go through. I'm not about to not go through. Let me check this first. This is experiment discontinued, and that looks kind of like the thing. That sounds like it's vitreous something? Vitriol would not fit. Vit vitri. Experiment discontinued. Yes, we have to go through that thing. Interesting. Aperture, the, sa the sad Aperture Science logo partially destroyed. Breaker, main entrance. Sorry, main power, entranceway, automated doors, lobby. Testing lounge. Testing lounge. I mean, 61 is like... I mean, so the thing about the moon that I was thinking is like... We needed... That was like the first computing, right? I mean, not like... Not the first computing, but like... The race to the moon included major... Like computing and memory. Uh... Uh, like, plateau. What's what's the word? Jesus Christ! Much progress. <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen, to Amateur Science. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians. You're here because we want the best, and you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? I am. <laughs> now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Pretty as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. Yikes. 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 Okay. Madman, good old American business type of uh, situation. Cave Johnson. Astronauts, Olympians, and then I missed the other one. I don't remember what it said. Um, enter there. Speakers here. Science innovators. So I'm wondering if this has to do with the, the other thing is that that logo, how they an atom. Uh, I mean the electrons from an atom. I think. Uh, I went the wrong way there. Nope, that's not the wrong way. It just doesn't put me on the staircase. Okay. Um, this is incredible. What the fuck is happening here? I'm so in love with this area. It's so big. The scale is enormous. Okay, so I think I gotta get up to there, maybe. Hmm. There's main lift. It said lobby, lift. This thing is broken. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to problem solve now. Okay, alright, sweet. Dave Johnson. I walk on these? Can't. Wow, this is creepy as hell. Okay. I can fall. Momentum. Hell yes. Wow, this is cool. Oh my god. So any of... No, no, no. Just these. Yeah, okay. So I think we want to get up there. And I think the way we want to do it is by... Oh no. We want to do this. We could go, I think we could go right there and and be launched over to here. But if we do that, we get to go there. Let's do it. Oh, oh through the middle of the, that's so fucking cool. Ah, that was awesome. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. 
Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news <laughs> and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis. Oh my god. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. You'll know when the test starts when you start getting blown to shit. Or sorry, when you start facing all these mantis lords. Uh, Mantis Man. Incredible. Okay, so this is just general. The other thing I was thinking is, 60s was like, I mean, there's like the, psych the psychedelic, uh, the like, LSD, men who stare at goats type of experimentate, like just wild science inter uh, uh, experimentation going on. And it seems like that. It is Aperture Science Innovators, and it's all kinds of science. What does this say? What are the three things down here? I don't actually know what that says. Uh, I can't read. <laughs> Looks like ALT. Maybe it's AST. I don't know. We'll see a higher. We'll see a higher quality logo eventually. Cave Johnson. Oh my God, that's perfect. That is exactly how I pictured you. Local entrepreneur buys his salt mine. Okay, so that did say salt. What the fuck? Salt? It looks kind of like salt. Almost like aerospace, but it's one word too short. And then like... Curtain? I don't know. Okay. Um, Spirit of Idaho. National Potato Award Board. Okay. Potato Science? Beard of Idaho National Potato Award Promotion of Potato Science. Um, aperture. Oh, that was the word. I know. I, I'm, I know. I'm obsessed with this, and I'm sorry, but I have to do it. Is it just aperture? Aperture. What the fuck? This is killing me. This is like I'm playing Wordle. Applied Science Companies. Aperture. Applied Sciences. Okay. Number two. In 49, 52, Contractor of the Year for the Department of Defense. This is some of the stuff we got from the uh, first game, Department of Defense stuff. Shower curtain set. It is curtain. It's salt blank curtain. What is the second one? Salt blank curtain. Shower curtain salesman. Interesting. All right, so this is all 40s. The most recent one is 55, by the way. Looks like. 43, 54. All right. Cave Johnson to bring science and industry to Upper Michigan. The UP, Pioneer Press. This is in... Can't see the day. Future is here, and it's under the Earth's crust. Crust, says Science Maverick. Maverick? <laughs> Ashtrays everywhere. God, if that wasn't the freaking... That's funny. All right. So, I was a little bit nervous. I thought I was going to get to explore that thing out there. But I wasn't. I don't think I can go back through it, unfortunately. I thought I was going the less popular way but i now i have to try it. i'm gonna go for it um i need to go up there and then we're gonna try and go over here and see what happens they put this this board here so that you know where to stop which is so good okay we made it here please excuse the can ah oh, that's so good you get here and you're like, I made it. The main lift, the thing with the most light on it. Hell yeah. Welcome to the future of tomorrow. Science inundators of Aperture. And then it's like, mm, sorry, tiny little notice. You get through though? Nothing? Okay. I mean, I would be surprised if you could after. That's so funny. Oh man, and I almost missed it. I almost like skipped it kind of. Um. All right, let's get back over there. Sorry, I'm taking my sweet time on this level. Holy shit. But I, uh, I'm having so much fun. That's so satisfying. That's the most satisfying thing I've ever done. I've never, I've never done anything better than that. All right. All right. So they also called them enrichment spheres. Enrichment spheres. 
Repulsion gel and praying mantis thing. The praying mantis thing is obviously just included for a joke. We're back to the portal. We're back to the portal. Oh man, my writing, my writer brain is loving the shit out of this game design. We're back to the portal experience, which is a narrated, chauffeured walk through a place. You know? Okay, so that's something. This is the big thing. This is Alpha, Pump Station Alpha. Is there a way to go left or anything? We've done all that. Then are we supposed to jump? I think we can jump. Yeah, not bad. All right. Question is how we get up. Please wait for attendant to begin lift. Thank you. Sure. I can go up this way and then I can fall back into that. The question is where we need to go with that, right? We need to we have a big fall, which we can use to Send ourselves somewhere. Oh, is it that? Is it that right there? One of those? I don't think so. There's lights right there indicating that's the platform we're supposed to get to, that alpha plat. Oh. That right there. Okay, I got the okay, sorry, I got the I got the one. Let's put the L the lift up. Oh no, I got stuck. It wouldn't let me back out. Shit. What color do I have there? It took away my color. Okay. Oh, this is creepy. Okay, something there. Caution. Do not fall down. Elevator shaft. I love that. Love that. Oh, it sounded like it was going to break. The thing about not falling down the elevator shaft is that I kind of need to. I kind of... I guess I can... Oh, I can go down one level and then I can do it. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. If I need, if I need to go through that. I still don't know that I do. So we have a big jump there, right? Is it that one? It's that one. Hell yeah. Okay. So let's go over there just to be... Just to see first. Ah, oh, the noises are loud. Vitrified. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know, because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start <laughs> worrying and come see us, because that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. Oh my god. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. <laughs> We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. So all that means is it's working. It's working. You'll be fine. Uh, they didn't actually say that part. Okay, so each of these is a little... I was just walking up to these and hitting E on the chance that we would be able to walk into it. But it's actually... I triggered those voice things each time. Let's see if it does the same one. If you've cut yourself at all in yep. the course all right, of these tests, cool. you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. So, that's to get normal. there, we've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. So, all that means is it's working. Okay. So, uh, we need a there, and then we need a blue, I think, at the bottom of this lift. Okay, we'll jump into right here. So, here's the question Do we just send it? and hit the button when we get to the bottom? I think we do. Did that stress you out? Did it stress you out? God, this game's so fucking fun. Ah. Oh. All right. Alpha pumping station alpha. Sure, sure, sure. Keep, uh, sorry, know your allergens. Pollen, animal dander, plastics, and antimatter. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Um, let's see here. 
Know your hazardous materials. Don't touch anything unfamiliar, especially if it's got that logo on it. Do not inhale fumes, no matter how good they smell. <sighs> okay. Pump station alpha, everything's blue here. Gel pressure control. This is the re gel repulsion, I'm sure. Uh, rep repulsion gel, I'm sure. All right, here we go. They gave us a lever, we pushed it. I think I have played a, oh, the door's open, oops. So I played the Portal 2 co-op campaign with my wife, which was incredible. I have a feeling I know I, I might know what this repulsion gel is, but I don't remember if that's what it was called. Oh shit, that's the wrong place. Uh and either way, I'm excited to see what uh I'm mostly excited about the story, but if we have some puzzles that I may have a small advantage on the uh on what the repulsion gel does. If it's the thing that I'm thinking of, there might not be. Okay, so this is nothing down here. I can't do it to the floor. This does say something right here. Gel flow. Okay. Into this thing, and then where? Then up. Okay. And then up. Okay, can't get in there. Can't get in there. But I need to get up there. Okay, it appears that I can walk out onto uh, that blue, maybe? Maybe? Okay, I did. Then that's what I was supposed to do. Get on the top of that thing. Gel flow this way or gel flow that way. And it looks like we have to go through there. Okay. Excellent. Let's try this just to be sure. I'm, I don't think it'll open. Cool. Safety first. Together we can make 1956 the lowest unexpected casualty anim ever. Same logo. It says salt something curtain. Say antimatter because that was too. That'd be too many syllables. I mean, <laughs> words, letters. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No sure. handholding. If that's your mythos, sure. Whatever you need to believe. Ooh, I can't carry anything through with me. Oh, what if I want to though? I don't. I didn't even think I could carry something through with me. Now you kind of got got me thinking I could. All right. The other thing I've been thinking this chapter is, what if there is another reason for it being called the fall? We start with a fall, so there's a really obvious reason for it to be called that. I haven't been paying attention to the names of the chapters very much, but uh, could be a fall from grace. Could be aperture's fall. Ooh, lights are on. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call Tests. repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. <laughs> Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Tragic, but informa in informative. Okay. So are we inside of one of the things now? Got that lattice work, that dihedral, or whatever it's called, lattice work now. I think we are. I think we're inside one. All right. Oh, yeah, we're there. Oh, God. And oh my lord, do we have... Does that say salt asbestos? Oh shit, that's funny. No way. Salt asbestos. Oh, that's such a perfect decision. Lore-wise. It's the height of science, and it definitely won't hurt you. This won't come back to bite us in the ass. Very safe. Oh my god, that's fucking funny. Ah. Oh. Remember. This test is unsolvable without an Aperture Science portable quantum tunneling device. Which was much bigger back then. If you've not received one, please find a test associate before participating in any Shaft 9 enrichment activities. 
That is, uh, hold up. Before we go anywhere, I don't have anything I could get into, unfortunately. But there is one up there. Next chest chamber that way. Okay. Just always looking behind the scenes to see, or looking for a way to break the order of the game. Um, did you know repulsion gel? Oh, sorry. Did you know aperture science fact placard blank, blank, blank repulsion gel. Repulsion gel was aperture's first attempt to create a diet dietetic, a dietetic put uh, pudding substitute. It's true. The gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of a dieter's distended stomach and out his or her mouth. For various reasons, the product was pulled from shelves. Lawsuits concerning repulsion gel, comma, lawsuits concerning repulsion gel, comma, public outrage over. <laughs> oh, the, the, the design remnant of a uh, caution. The design remnant of a, uh, sorry, remin reminiscent of a, uh, yeah, so good, of the current chamber that we're used to. I like that we can actually change direction on it. Uh, all right, so we go up there, sure. Oh. Oh, I've done the wrong thing. Oops. Okay. Uh, I need to... Uh, I understand. I need to get the cube, but to do that, I need to bounce over here. Get a little one of those guys. Get a little one of these guys. Nope. Nothing up here that I can do. Get a little one of those guys. Wait, where's the where's the thing? Oh, there it goes. Bounced all the way over here. Oh, my God. Companion cube. Well, a normal cube. Predecessor. Oh, that's the wrong way. I'm dumb. <laughs> you go right here. Thank you very much. I go over here. Whee! The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. Yep. Flirt with Carolyn all you want. She's married to science. Awfully pretty face, by the way. Test chamber is that direction. Too bad I can't get there, but we can go this way. The desire that I have to, that I just talked about, to like break the game, to go out of bounds a little bit in order to find secrets that the secrets or like extra loot, like I have that desire in every game that I play, right? And, and I'm sure many of you have it too. The desire to like, oh, it's pointing us this way. Let's look around in the corner. Let's root around, see if there's anything rewarding. They make that a part of the main game here. Uh, the way the, the the main way is broken, and so you have to root around and find a different solution. Also, what are we gonna find over here? Anything? Can I take the telephone with me? God, I really hoped there was something in here that I could do. The floor? What? Fucking weird. Why is the floor marked? Huh. Wait, now it's got me thinking there's got to be a reason to do that, right? I can't, like, make the chair fall through? No. Why would there be a way for the floor to be... Portable, unless there was a reason to do it. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA oh, molecules fuck. and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you <laughs> sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, <laughs> we took care of that too. 
Okay. Sorry, I just can't stop thinking about it. Why would there be a I mean, probably just an accident, but why is the floor portable? I can't think of any advantage that would give us, so we'll, we'll just continue on. All right. So that resets all our portals. We have a moving thing here. Interesting, and I need to get up there to get the... Okay, we can go up to do that. Got gel here. I think if I jump on, yep. Oh, that's the wrong one. Shit. Okay. Do this. I don't know exactly where I'm going with it, but. that is okay exits all the way up there also the i just realized instead of cameras it was speak it was uh megaphones like like these systems there are cameras in the main game oh i go over there okay oh now we're bouncing now we're bouncing now we're bouncing too much i just run and, and do this bounce no do I need to... Hmm. All right. Uh, I'm dumb. We just go up here. Every time. Every time I forget about the central thing of portals, which is just that you can walk through them. Cool. So that should open up the top thing. No, it opens up this. Aha. Very well. And then we need to go up there. Interesting. Okay. Let's bounce into it. Okay. We're wall bouncing. We're wall bouncing. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know how important it is to move your mouse back and forth, like you're bunny hopping in CSGO, but I'm trying. Um, bunny hopping in Valorant is more like it for me. Ooh, I did not get very much forward momentum here. I'm going to move against the grain and see what happens. Like I'm hitting. Okay, nothing. All right, sweet. Love it. Maybe we just stop bouncing, please. There we are. There we are. Going to get a little sick. Blech. All right, go through. And then I love it. Ooh, the motion blur when you hit. That is fine. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion <laughs> gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Oh, God. Sorry, I feel like uh, I have nothing intelligent to say about Cave Johnson and his uh, blatant disregard for uh, the health of his test subjects, but, or for scientific, like, experiment design, for that matter. It's just entertaining. That's all I have to say about it. Um... It's like uh, I can imagine when they when they decided on the storyline here, and when they got to all of a sudden write the prompts. Uh, like uh, Cave Johnson has to just be that. All super these fun. science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping, because that's <laughs> not part of the test. That's asbestos. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of forty-four point six years. Yep. So if you're thirty or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. What I was about to say is that I think Cave Johnson has to be one of those characters as a writer that you're just like, this is a gift. This is a absolute writing prompt of hilarity. Like, all I have to do is anything this guy in this situation says will be funny. You know? Oh, do we just hop across these? Uh, the water is deadly, right? Oh, momentum is a little weird. All right, all right, there we go. Don't lean on railing. I kind of hoped it would fall over. Okay.
Exit is up there? What the fuck? We have that, we have that. Can I get in there? Wait, what? What's happening here? This is a weird one. Ooh, okay. The flow goes up and then into this plate. Part of it's into this place. Okay. Uh I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Beam counter said I could Yikes. require a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. This is the gel. Beautiful. Uh, yikes, by the way. Fucking yikes, by the way. Yeah. And also, we can shoot it. Uh, nope. I didn't mean to shoot it. I just... Oh, it's still going. Okay. All right. It's going. Well. Uh, <laughs> well, we're probably going to want some, like, there. And maybe, like, there. Yeah. Oh, I got it right on me. Yikes. How's about uh, that? And there. There. Oh, one didn't come through. There. Try that. Oops, I missed, but it's okay. Okay, so now we're in up here, but our old portal went away. So what, what does that do? Zoom, zoom, zoom. I think that's good, actually. I think that's exactly what I want, right? And do I jump? Yeah, yeah, I jump for sure. Okay, all right. Oh, we're piecing these together faster than they can give them to us. Let's go. All right. So I jump to get momentum. And then I bounce. Yeah. Oh, we're flying. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it, so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. Fuck me. Neuronal, huh? There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualize it's the small the things. Scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. <laughs> it's the small things. They chose neuronal or neuronal there uh, as a word, as a word choice. We would know that as neural activity, of course. But at the time, they wouldn't necessarily, they would be in the process of, of, of that word popularizing. And so they wouldn't know for sure. I, I, I don't know the exact etymology of neural, but it was either in the process of being invented or it had just been invented or whatever, or popularized. And so they choose neuronal and we think, wow, it sound, it's, it's matches the tone of the era. Beautiful. All right. Where to next, Aperture? Cave? I'd complete, I've completely forgotten that we're going to try and take down Wheatley. That's what we're doing. 927. The thing about the fall, title wise. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler 7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating the and fuck? beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Tiny microchip, which we believe because we live in an era where tiny microchips are a thing. The size of a postcard. That's incredible. All right, we have water. I can't throw it. Okay. So what do we have here? We have one area. Meant to throw it, but it lands right there, which is a no-go. So we need to shut off the water. We need to bounce the water here. Oh, that didn't work. Fuck, I thought I could do it. Oh, I fuck. I did it. Okay, okay. I think I just figured it out. Holy shit. Uh, all right, all right. Are we going up there? Oh, so we need to get it right here. All right, so first off, we do this. I think I just figured out a, a key part of it later, though. Wait, that was the wrong button. Fuck. Once it goes up, I switch it. I fucking didn't switch it very well. Oh, no.
There it is. All right. All right. Okay, so that did something. Water's off. Okay, so that's not what I thought the solution was. Maybe there's multiple solutions. I thought the solution was going to be get it to jump up. And then while it was in the process, move it somewhere else so that you can just like keep it moving. That, did, that was not the solution. Uh, all right. I figured it out anyways. I'm definitely, and I definitely did it on purpose. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right. This next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So word of <laughs> advice, if you meet yourself on the testing what? track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time entirely forward and backward. So do both of yourselves a favor <laughs> and just let that handsome forward devil go and about his business. Let that handsome devil go about his business. I just love the idea of Olympians and good old American boy astronauts doing all of these tests. Oh, it's funny to me. It's like a like a pit boy, right? Like a like a a very buff pit boy. <laughs> Remember, if a future you tries to warn you about this test, don't listen. Can't go through this. We must need to find a different way. Getting leaked on. Thought it would make me blue. It did not. Nope, that was too far. Okay. Uh, can I just step out onto it? I can. Let's see what this does. Help, I don't know what just happened. Okay. Uh... So I went down, I went up, I fell, I bounced, I think, technically. Somehow I fell back through one of these. I don't know how. Get up there. I need to I need to have the momentum bounce back. So, so I think we were close, right? Oh. Okay, the other thing is we do this. Are those hitting the ceiling? They're not, right? They're landing? Okay, that's working. That's working. That's working. Okay, so we're painting it. We can't paint this part because it's like the stainless steel grate. Yeah? And then we go like this. And then we keep a momentum and, and we go. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. It didn't work. Shit. Okay. Okay. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Okay. There's two of these. Why does that matter? <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh... Do we bounce it from here? I think we'd hit our head, right? Just paint all of this area that we can. Unless there's a reason to paint the wall. Oh. There's a reason to paint the wall. I thought I had to turn around, but I just bounce off of it. Okay, so then we do this, we do this. We bounce into it. Well, sh fucking shit. All right, well. <laughs> it's making this so blue. Why is this blue? Is it spilling? Uh, accidents hurt. You. You will be hurt. Accidents hurt coworkers. Don't endanger others by pushing them into a flaming barrel of toxicity. Accidents hurt the company. Replacements are costly. Accidents hurt science. Investigations impede progress. 
Safety first. Can I reuse the bottom chamber here? Is that what's happening? Oh, I can do that. Wait, hold up. Wait, shit. Okay, I think we're going to have to paint this whole thing. Is that working? Wait, wait. Did I put the right one? The wrong one? I put the wrong one. Shit. All right, we'll use blue. So blue goes up. I should change it in a second. It goes up. It goes through. It goes up. See what that does. I mean, it's working actually. We just paint. We just get to paint for a while. We're playing Splatoon. Okay, I don't know what that one's going to do. I still don't know what I'm doing here at all. I don't know where I'm going is the problem. Okay, that goes over there. So we bounce off. Sure. Up to there. So. Run, jump, bounce. Bounce. I don't know. No fucking idea. Um, Or do we just bounce like this? Oh, uh, that did make it. Oh, that almost made it. Oh no. Okay. That might have happened. That might have actually worked. Let's get onto the corner. Get as close as we can. Oh no. Will this work still? Um I'm not gonna get high enough, right? Shit. Oh I jumped too far. I'm just going to keep trying it because it felt really close to working. If I'd have actually bounced on the corner instead of bouncing on the uh, middle of it. Yep, bounced. Nope, didn't do anything. That's what put blue there. This put blue here. That put blue there. The one thing we don't understand is why there's walls there. Maybe if you got stuck there so you could go back up. What are those two for? Hmm. Let's keep thinking. There's only so many places we can paint this shit. That gets both sides of this thing. Put it there and then get it out of the way. Maybe I just missed this thing a little bit, you know? I think it's possible, right? Maybe I just didn't connect completely cleanly on the, uh, like on this thing. Let's paint the whole thing. No missing sections. I like how I just keep trying the same thing over and over again. Uh, all right. So just jump. Just jump. Huh. What is... None of this can be hit, right? Do I come back into this? One more time. <laughs> Definition of insanity, right? Okay, I just missed. I feel like there must be a reason for... Uh 
But we're using every part. I think we're using most pieces of the puzzle here. Oh, what if we do this? Yes. Oh, I got so in love with the idea of hopping across. Pendulum swing, me, daddy, between genius and... Oh, God. We did it. That's all that matters? Nobody saw anything. Wait, where the fuck are we? Wait. Okay. Woo, we still did it. Okay. I go any higher? Okay. Okay. No, just a dumb reaction. Hustle could use some work. I like your grit. Tenacity. Uh, okay, closed. This feels like it could be a, a penultimate test here. Or, or a, a, fi a final test here. Um, of this area. Oh, we got lots of complicated things. We have water as well. To clear something? This opens that, which is the exit. We need this out. Hey, look, I grabbed it. It's easy. Um, okay. So, we can put blue in it and make it jump. Oh, oh god. Oh, fuck. Can we wipe? Can we? Nope. Can we wipe? Can we? Yep. Clean it off. Oh, God. Come back here. Can we clean you off? We can. Oh, yeah. All right. Well. Now I still got to get into it, though. Uh, I need a little bit of blue right here. Oh, it does paint. It didn't go right through. Okay. Shit. I f thought for sure that was going to go right through. Um, so now we stop it. So now just, just like, do like that. Shit. Now that's just going to, that's going to lava lamp for in perpetuity. Oh, that's beautiful. Why did they say time travel was going to be experienced? Oh, now I need to get that off. Oh, shit. I didn't even think about this. here. All right. How would I even move it? Right now, I don't even know how to move it. Uh, move it, move it. I'd like to move it, move it. I'd like to move it. Nothing here gets... Can I, like... I'm blue, abba dee, abba da, abba dee, abba. <clears throat> All right, um, I'm stalling because I don't know what the fuck to do here. We've got all kinds of different things here. Do I need to fall fast? I'll fall fast if you need me to. Ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. That's wild. I don't know how I feel about that, actually. Oh, that breaks my brain. Okay, all right, all right. That hurts a lot. Uh, what does that do? Does that does that look down on it? Yes. So does that mean if I were to do this? 
Nope. It would also need blue on it, potentially. Fuck. <laughs> Oh no, this room could get real wacky real quick, I think. Uh... My brain hurts. All right, so here's my thought. If this is bouncy, is it possible for me to bounce on it? The actual square. I can bounce on this stuff. Can I bounce on the actual square? No. I can bounce around it, though. Okay. I need to get it up? Sorry, I need to get it down, and then I need to get it off. Or... Yeah, I'm not fast enough to get there. Okay. So, oh god, get me off, get me off, get me off. Uh, off of the blue, so I don't freak out. Why are these bounces so, why are these so important? There's gotta be a reason for all of this stuff. Put this in blue, get up there, jump across. real stumped, which I'm very happy about because that means that uh, I could potentially use that for more momentum, yeah? Let's just play around a bit. Let's just jump. See where those things take us? This takes us all the way up there. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's see what happens. So, this is the one that was very interesting to me. If I jump down... No. Uh, like here. I jump down, I, I can land on this. It going supersonic speed. Why is that interesting? I have no idea, but it is something. If I get going supersonic speed, is there anything I can use? There's nothing that sends me that direction, unfortunately. And also that doesn't matter because I have to get this thing there. Okay. okay, so here's my question though. Could I drop this in and see what happens? Oh, it did not go supersonic speed. I hoped that it would. I hoped that it would stay and go forever. I can aim myself though. This thing can't. It's not gonna go forever. It will go for a little bit. Where did it go? Oh no. Okay, there it is. Hmm. What if it's on there? Hold up. Is it this easy? If it's on there and then blue hits it, does it come off? I don't know that I've tested this. Does it? Fuck me sideways. Where the stick? Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not Johnson is getting very irritated at the idea of safe science and the idea of regulation, maybe, and or... I wonder if there, it seemed like maybe there was some deep emotion in there. Oh, buddy, we are getting a long episode today. Congratulations. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Amateur Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. 
Final words. You're out of here. Good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Except. Goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Except. There's beta. And it's portable. Except for that. Okay. So, let's see what's over here. And then we gotta figure out a way to go back there. Yellow, oh, orange is already placed, so we need to use blue. Thank you for your participation. Salt, asbestos, and curtain. Curtain! I love that it's singular curtain. That's the best part of it all. It's just singular curtain. Elevator to the surface, except it's closed. We're 4,000 meters under the ground. Shit. 4,000 meters? That's two miles and 200 meters. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Two, hundred, two miles and 800 meters. I should know this. They put it here when you're facing back. Intelligent. Intelligent. Uh, okay. Well, anything else to explore here before we do it or... I can't jump off these rails. I tried. <laughs> I have a death wish, apparently. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. First off, that's not what I intended to do there. Um, shit, I can't get back because I closed my portal. Fuck. Wait, I was going to try and go back and see if there was any way to go up there. There isn't a way. Wait, can I jump off this way? I can. I mean, should we? Oh, I'm dead. Okay. It doesn't let you stand there. I thought maybe it would let you stand there. Oh, Y'all got me in a, uh, a playful mood today. Playing around with anything. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me that they'll let me play around with. Glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not okay. going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready. Just the so normal stuff. There's no other portal. Physical form, there will always be a limit. That makes sense. For you. So, Say we'll goodbye, go. Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. We'll go through here. Uh, all right. Pump station beta. Gel flow. And a second one. I wondered if that would happen. Uh, all right. Anything to turn on here? No, it's all turned on. Gotta go up there. So. Uh, okay. Nothing and nothing. And that must mean that we have to jump. Yeah, this works. Back through. Wait, that didn't make any sense. <gasps> Wait, are we gaining momentum there? Wait, did we were we gaining momentum there? No, probably not, right? How do I get in there? Oh, right there. Aha! Okay. I'm dumb. So, let's go through the yellow one, then set our blue there. Did I do that right? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Pump station beta. Turn both those on a second, or at least one. I want to take the beautiful telephone with me, and I want to know what that says, and it doesn't say anything. They're going. <clears throat> oh, buddy, are we still going? Oh, closed behind me, and it scared the shit out of me. Okay. 
Um, I love how they always include evidence of where you've just been. Because it is so... Uh, it's so... Oh, shit. We were there, looking across it here. We were looking for any portable services. No portable services up here. But there's this whole thing, which is just out of view right there. Oh, it's so neat. The continuity between areas. Uh, it's obvious, but it's a... It's just, like, that's an obvious thing, right? In the real world, it works that way. But not all games include it, because it's a lot of work to do to pop you out in a way that makes... Lin to explore you in a, in a way that makes linear sense. Uh, hey, I'm Kane Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. Okay. And most likely use one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Interesting. Right. Bankrupt. Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. Oh, so sassy. Okay, a couple things. I think Carolyn sounds like a robot. Uh, I'm noticing after the uh, say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. I'm thinking Carolyn might be a robot, which t sends me reeling in terms of the implications. If Cave Johnson uh, was obsessed with a, a robotic helper early on. Hmm. Also, they've moved away from, first off, second logo. Second font. It's a new era. A a rising sun, potentially. Uh, on, a, on a new era. The sun rises on a new era of aperture. Look at this. The logo? Uh, they stopped using astronauts. They stopped sending limos. Do not litter. Do not loiter. Do not touch glass. They're on to the homeless. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is going to be a long episode. You guys can already tell that because you can see how long the episode is. I am just realizing it. Uh, all right. Can't get through there. Great, fantastic. Oh, didn't mean to do that. We can jump down in a... Uh, to get some momentum here, which is what I'm looking at mostly. We have this. We need to get there to exit. So we're going to do another one of the things where we go flying through the, uh, through the hole. Uh, all right. Desk on. Desk turned over on the, yeah, the environmental storytelling here. Two of these desks have boxes and, and or a chair turned upside down on them. Meaning, nobody's working here. Meaning, staff laid off. Uh, not sure. Right. Remember, if you see an orange jumpsuit, hit the red button. Prisoners? Is that what that means? Uh, okay. A little bit of lore there. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. What if we just did this? No way we'll make it, right? Oh, we need to get there. Wait, shit, 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 shit. Oh, that's this. Haha. Uh, it's probably more like that, though. Yeah? Lined up. Lined up. Lined up. Here. Away we go. Ooh, lined up. Oh, hi. Say, you're good at murder. Could you ow, murder this bird for me? Where? Oh. Ow. Ow. Oh. No, wait. Just kill it and we'll call things even between us. No hard feelings. Please get it off me. <laughs> it's getting pecked. That's incredible. Uh. It's eating me. It's eating me. Okay. Just get it off me. Get these computers. I will. I will. I promise. We have to go into the control room anyways, but I'm just taking my sweet fucking time. Send it flying? Yep. Did you feel that? That idiot doesn't know what he's doing up there. This whole place is going to explode in a few 
few hours if somebody doesn't disconnect him. I can't move, and unless you're planning to saw your own head off and wedge it into my old body, you're going to need me to replace him. We're at an impasse. So what do you say? You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I stop us from blowing up and let you go. No tricks. This potato only generates 1.1 volts of electricity. I literally do not have the energy <laughs> to lie to you. Even if I am lying, what do you have to lose? You're going to die either way. I'll take you with me for now. I don't like this any more than you do. In fact, I like it less because I'm the one who got partially eaten by a bird. <laughs> Badass, you've convinced me. I think that makes I sense. Think I the bird. Pick me up. Sure. Wow, you stabbed me. What is wrong with I did stab him. Stab her. Do you have a multimeter? Never mind. The gun must be part magnesium. It feels like I'm outputting an extra half a volt. Keep an eye on me. I'm going to do some scheming. Here I go. Here I go. Alright, so that goes all the way up. Ah! How long have I been out? Extra I runway. Extra platform can i go through here i can i hadn't been in here yet oh cave johnson is looking rough i mean that person is looking still somewhat attractive uh, very distinguished i would say but you know less uh good old boy and uh more stressed potential evil overlord uh has subject waiting area okay okay 23 potentially people in line or the the number that they're calling now take a number $60 you can afford a cruise with 60 bucks $60 you could buy a house with that stop buying avocado toast millennials you can afford a house with 60 bucks uh okay and in here chairs on desks remember alert your supervisor if you see an OSHA inspector department of energy inspector EAO account. He's got it out. He's got it out for inspectors. Anyone trying to stop them from the science they are doing. Nuclear Regulatory Commissioner. Okay. I love that I was like, what specific kind of science are they doing? All of it. They're doing all the bad sketchy science across all the years. Alright. Uh, we're going back up and I think we do the this I think makes the most sense. Yeah, let's try it. Lettuce is with us now. Fuck yes. There we go. Lattice didn't die when we went through the thing. Lattice is back. All right. Lattice is great fall from height. Now she's a potato stuck on my portal gun. And we have a mission, which is to head up to the top and reunite with. Our friend Wheatley, and then try to find a way, some sort of, some sort of, uh, impasse that we can be happy in. Oh, buddy, that was a chunky episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Nearly an hour and a half. Uh, I've done my best to talk about it throughout the, uh, throughout the episode, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time breaking it down here. But this felt like the first. The game, the game has changed underneath us. Feels like a very meaty. I was wondering how they said like ten, potentially ten hours to complete this game, and we were buzzing through tests in the first couple episodes. I was like, we can't just keep doing. We can't keep iterating on these tests forever. Oh God, of course not. We have a whole ancient factory, ancient factory, uh, a whole storyline down here that I had no idea about. The real meat of the story is here. So, uh, so far. We'll see you tomorrow for another episode. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Be nice to yourself. Be nice to others. I'll see you tomorrow. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.